We have about a thousand dollars in the pot. I'm I'm also in there too. This is a lot of action. Oh my goodness. So these are the bets. W Lin versus me, 20. Me versus Usadek, 200 Canadian. Amir. All right. So just want to uh, reinforce that the lines are closed officially. Uh, we have a big match going on right now between National Master Dr. Usadek, 2307 chess.com blitz. Grandmaster Ariantari, 2911 chess.com blitz. It is an adoption match. The time control is three plus zero. And the Grandmaster, Mr. Ariantari, has to win 10 games in a row. And there is a lot of action uh, going both ways here. So, guys, uh, we're not going to prolong this anymore. The lines are closed. The players are ready. Elias, uh, you good? I'm good. Good luck, Arian. Let's uh, have a little bit yeah, of fun. Good luck. Let's All go. right. The, the boys are ready. All right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Welcome to the action. Welcome to the action. We got a big pool. Yeah, 1,350. 1,350 prize pool for this uh, impromptu epic adoption match. Usadik against Tari. And we've just begun. Uh, Mr. Tari needs to win every single game. Let's let's check it out. He's the guy with everything to lose here. Uh, Usadik has you know many many games before. Mm. Do they hear you? Oh no. Okay, I'll just double check. No, no, they don't. Okay. No, no, the, you guys here, just making sure that the players couldn't hear. Because obviously, you know, highly qualified player, such as myself, you know, my advice is uh, clearly, clearly about to change the course of this match. But they cannot hear me. Thank goodness. Just you guys. Just me and you, chat. Um, we got a lot of action. This is going to be exciting. So already we see uh, National Master Gowala here. He, he's thinking so much. He's already down 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. What the heck? This is uh, a very slow. Guys, do you think that that gray goose ingested by the doc was medically approved? Do you think uh, that was uh, wise by the doc? It was the, the gray goose ingestion. I'm not sure. It seems to have slowed the system down. It was to calm the nerves. Well, the thing is, guys, there was a lot of trash talk before this match. And the good doctor himself was saying that Mr. Tari was going to lose the entire match. He wasn't just going to fail the adoption. He wasn't going to lose the bet. He's going to lose the match as well. Everything. So let's let's see how, how much uh, truth there is to that. There was definitely a lot of chit chat before the match, guys. Heating up in here. G6 played. I mean, the uh, Elias needs to get uh, developed here. I mean, if Arian just uh, crashes through over here, or or even just plays positionally on the dark squares, yeah, he's gonna take and look to play a3, uh, b4. Knight takes. He's just gonna go back. Okay, I think he just wants to a3, b4, and well, Elias is not preventing that at all. Not preventing that at all. This is already looking like uh, like a very very good position for Aryan. I mean, this is he, he, he's going to take uh, the first game, he's going to take uh, Elias to the shed, it looks like. Prof says, Dr. O's getting snapped like a cheap bra. Oof. This is looking rough, guys. This is looking rough. Those bishops are very strong, very, very uh, tough position for like lots of weak dark squares. Queen side majority as well, and uh, looks like Tari is going to be comfortably taking the first one home but remember guys if you're if you have action on on mr tari he has to do this 10 times in a row 10 times in a row so this is this is only game one lots of pressure on Aryan here we'll see how he can handle it he's already dropped a pawn there you know he, he's reacting on the can there he seems like he doesn't care he's trying to say you know what two connected pass pawns on the queen side i don't care about that Maybe he's uh, dreaming of a knight against bishop, you know, knight on c4 or something like that, knight on e4, but man, that knight on d7 is in a tough, tough position. What happens in case of a draw? I explained that at the beginning, but a draw is just as good as a loss. A draw is just as good as a loss. Rook c8 played. And Tommy, with some words of encouragement for the dog, he says he's dangerous because he's confident when he's being destroyed. Well, I think if anyone in this match is more capable of handling a lost position, it's got to be Elias. 
2300s get lost positions on the regular. Trust me, it is it is just second nature. So um, I think I think that that is going to play into into the doc's hands here. This is definitely going to play into the doc's hands. So what we have here is 18 seconds against a minute 30. So I mean, uh, Elias can be a speedy guy, but uh, are you really coming back more than a minute down? That seems unlikely. That seems like he's going to get some counterplay here, but I mean, at, at this point, Aryan can do just about anything. He's going to go for the safe queen trade. He knows that this uh, this is just about over. This first game, rook takes d4. If you take that, there was a hanging rook on a8. Rook back to d2, queen c7, and well, would have been nice to see uh, you know energetic uh, Elias uh, much earlier in the match. Much or maybe like one minute ago. How about that? Because th this is too little, too late. Too little, too late. Check. Get those rooks off. Yeah. And and this is a this is going to be a comfortable uh, comfortable one, I think, for for Aryan. The nice thing is there's no checks for. Uh... Oh, he's even going to get the king out of there. Yep. Yep. Well, he won by timeout, but I mean, it's uh, it's also on the board there, guys. That is way too slow for move. The first game goes to Mr. Tari. 1-0 and a nice easy one there. All right, so let's let's change this time, guys. Let's take a look at the NM perspective. Let's take a look at the NM's perspective. How's he doing here? All right, so we got basically a, a typical queen's gambit, uh, typical queen's gambit here. Um, he's looking for e4, but of course there's always uh, some c5 coming in quickly. B4 to to kick the knight out. You got to be uh, got to be looking at. I wonder if Elias can actually pick up the pace. The one thing that's happening though is he's he's losing like 30 seconds in the opening. Tommy wants the board to be flipped because nobody watches porn from the POV of the person getting reamed. Tommy, it's, uh, you know, we're all quarantined here. Everyone needs some, some different experiences. Everyone needs to try out a few categories that they, uh, that they haven't uh, been to before. And uh, I think I'm just trying to share with you, uh, you know, some, some good positive vibes here. We're going to take a look at uh, National Master Gowala and uh, we'll see what he can do here with his position. Queen b6, bishop c5. You'll notice it's a little bit similar to the uh, the last position, but the, the problem is that, uh, I mean, when Aryan was playing white, he had really good control over all the dark squares here. These bishops are actually very strong. Uh, this pin on the knight on d4 is something I'm very concerned about for Elias. I don't know how, I mean, he's got b4, there's always knight a4, so it's not really a threat, but e5 at some point is uh, he's probably going to win a piece in the near future. You can't move the queen because you're just dropping a knight. Queen d2, I mean knight e5 or something, there's knight g4, knight c4. Pretty cool collected play by Aryan. The, the people were doubting him early on. Knight c4, this, is, this piece is going to be hanging, there's bishops hanging. Elias is, uh, he's not feeling it. Look at that. I can just see the, the gray goose just coursing through his, no, it's, the gray goose has hit, guys. And a lot of the people with some side action are suddenly coming to the realization, wait a minute, this guy's a national master. <laughs> what did I just bet on? <laughs> Come on, John Harper said, Tari has a 0% chance. 0% chance? Yes. Zero. Wow. Wow, so, uh, some big words. Yes. Some reality sinking in, eh? Reality sinking out. A lot of people betting on the good doctor here, but uh, national messing against grandmaster guys. You take it one game at a time. You don't have to take it one game at a time. He's down a full piece here, and and he's also most importantly down more than a minute once again. Knight c3, guys. I mean, you just can't attack when you're when you're down a full piece like this. Knight c3 
he's looking to take. I mean, b4 supports the knight in any case. There's there's just not enough time for, for the h6, knight f6 tricks. There's, there's full pieces hanging. Full pieces hanging, and I mean, taking this is not going to be good enough. Takes, f takes, h takes. Even queen takes g2. He's just going to resign it. He's just going to resign it. And that is the second one. Aryan's looking relaxed over there. Everyone's saying, oh, you know, Aryan's a little quiet. He looks nervous. Well, now what do you have to say? Maybe he's maybe he's just confident. To take a break? Is there one time out allotted per player? Is that what we want to that? Sure, but... I'm just curious. What? It's not for me yet. I mean, uh, yeah. I guess they both have to agree on it. Okay. Uh, they will both hear me if I uh, just jump in and interject, but... Um, sure, we can wait a while. I figure one time out might be okay. One time out? And maybe a, a pep talk, uh, Moj to Moj to Aryan. Some Persian back rubs. This should be seven. All right, we're gonna get off this POV. Uh, there's only so much I can handle, eh, Tommy? Slice serve. He wants the timeouts to be there. Okay, so this, this is gonna be, uh, well, I think this is a line at least um, that could get a little messy. This is a line that could get a little messy. Elias is busy calculating here. He's going to... Ooh, castles. Ooh. Bishop takes e6, invited. He wants him to take that. Elias looks like a like a fly. And the fly rubs his uh, hands together. He's a very sinister guy. Bishop takes e6, king h8. I mean, uh, Aryan is just going to take that pawn to the bank. I mean, he, he went right for it. He went straight for it. King h8, and what's he doing now? He's got tactics, come on. What's he doing now? He's a tricky doctor. He's very tricky. Aryan took the pawn and is now thinking. Big time advantage for, for the wall. And is he going to go for knight e5 here? Is he going to go for knight e5? Maybe knight e5, bishop d5? Is what, uh, is what Aryan wants? But there's definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of tactics in here. He's definitely feeling good right now. Oh no, I'm nervous here. I got a lot of action on this card. Rook f2. He wants bishop e3, but but this position is very active for the dock. We're gonna get rook d8. This is not a comfortable position. Now he's he's chucked that pawn in the wind right now. He might need to play like a king h1 move. Queen b3. Uh, if, if he ever gets the move d5 in, like for example, queen takes d5, starts to get uh, interesting. Maybe he starts to untangle. Knight to b4. So a little bit more of a positional approach here from the dock. Trying to get that knight into d5. Queen b3 looks like a nice move stopping that. Uh, this, bish this bishop and knight really uh, hold the position. I was thinking maybe bishop e6 is uh, is a consideration, but d5 has to be calculated. All of a sudden, that bishop gets in there. So uh, basically, Elias looks like just can't maintain that d5 square. If he could maintain that d5 square, that would be something. Queen a6 from the dock. Queen a6 from the dock, guys. This is really heating up here. You see rook d1 played. The dock played queen a6. And let me tell you, he looked very confident after that move. What is he looking for now? D5 is on the horizon. Still a very precarious position for, for Aryan's pieces here. But he's maintained the speed. Aryan is not getting low on the clock. He was a little bit down on time, but he's since recovered. That knight on B4 needs addressing. You have to move that knight. You have to move that knight now. Are there any other intermezzos? Bishop there is the only other move, but I mean, D5 looks, looks natural. I think he wants to bring the knight into C4 maybe. Maybe that's the next play. Maybe that's the next play. Queen d3. Pretty simple. I mean, he's just saying, look, I'm up a pawn, and I'm just going for trades. Immediately refused. Are we going to see d5, or, or still not quite? There's also bishop here, which will probably be met by bishop there, and maybe looking to, uh, to take this. There's also bishop f5 now. Bishop f5 looks like a, a pretty decent square there. He's going to play bishop f8. There we go. Uncovering the rook. Putting pressure on that bishop. Time is getting 
Maybe he's gonna go rook there and, and get this bishop back to, to f2. This one is shaping up to be a very, very close game. This is better from Elias. This is a lot better than the first two games. 45 seconds apiece. But that extra pawn, now it's getting supported. The, the coordination, you can see you can see the rook swinging over. The bishop might drop back. Why is this not being played? Maybe that needs to happen. There it is. Elias with a huge tactic. Is this enough? Is this enough? B4 played. B4 played. And this is two pieces against three. This is it. He's, he's trying to trap that bishop there. Knight c4. A cheeky tactic. Uncovering an attack on the bishop. Is Elias going to notice that? This one needs to happen. He's going to give the bishop back. Guys, he's going to give the bishop back. Elias is down on time now. Is Tari going to pull out this flag? The match could be all over right here. All over right here. But instead, no, the knight's coming into e6. Is he going to see the rook? Elias has got to play way faster. 11 seconds to 25 now. He is so slow and he's lost his beast back. I feel like the momentum is swinging. The pendulum is swinging the opposite direction here. Oh, and Elias, six, five seconds ticking down. Elias looks like he's in a fucking wind turbine. Elias is on the last chartered flight out of New Brunswick. Rook A8. And he's furious. He's furious. Aryan pulls out a victory. Aryan pulls out a victory for 3-0. I just won my first bet. I had a side bet that uh, it, would be, it would be over after 3. 3-0. Three, and Elias is, is paying his respects. Aryan for a, for a dirty flag, but a resourceful one. Time is so important in these matches, guys. And Aryan, to his credit, that that's what we that's what we need to see. That's what we need to see from Mr. Tari, because there are going to be a few games where where Elias is going to get his, his shots in. He's going to get his licks in, and he has to he has to be ready to handle those uh, ready to handle those positions. Maybe with a dirty flag or two. So it's we're seeing that he's capable of that. We're seeing that he's capable of that. Okay, now we have uh, we have here a very interesting line. C5, E4, takes, takes, E5. Now, I can tell you uh, at the Grandmaster level, this is uh, not studied too much. At the National Master level, this is the, the, this is the rave. This is like an old-fashioned. This is like going to the bar ordering an old-fashioned. This is just what all the NMs are playing these days. So, Gowala's really up on his theory here. Queen a4. So, he's got that pin there. After d4, you know, he can sl uh, slide that knight into uh, d5. Maybe looking for long castle here. Uh, f4 as well after d4. Trying to undermine things. This is a very aggressive opening for white. Very aggressive opening choice by Gowala here. He might try to get that bishop out to b5. Going for quick, quick development. Remember, knight takes d5 is a winning move here. Do not fall for that basic, basic trick. Okay, so we grab the bishop pair, but what's he going to go for next? Still down on time, Elias is uh, consistently slow in these games. Consistently slow in these games. So, how about everyone in the chat? Anyone got some side action? How you guys feeling right now? You know, are you feeling good about the action? Uh, feel like your horse is living up to the hype, the expectations, or, or uh, some people wishing they didn't sign up for this, you know? People... Uh, People wishing they uh, they had chosen the other team. I think it's it's going to be a very close match. I think I knew that right from the start. We got an aggressive national master with something to prove. No, it's 3-0. But I think people knew that. But you know, no it's 3-0. And remember, guys, that momentum momentum is very very important in this type of match. Right now we have Aryan. He's on a three-game win streak. That's playing into both of these players' heads. It's very visible on the camera that that Elias is is uh, shaken uh, much more than his laptop is. Hey Terry, we got a lot of side betting going on, and uh, you know, a prize pool up for these players here. We just played an impromptu match. It's an adoption match. Aryan has to win ten games in a row of three plus zero. 
And this is just a structurally dominant position for Aryan. We might get G6 to restrict that knight totally. The rooks are gonna double, obviously. A2's hanging. And wow, what a pawn grabber. What a pawn grabber. And he takes and he goes right back to C4. I think we're gonna have to see this or A4. But, I uh, sorry, A4. Doesn't matter. But both moves do the same thing. C2 is probably gonna fall here. G6 is gonna happen at some point. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna take that and look for the C2 pawn or knight C4 check is game over. And Elias is not happy. Not happy at all. Is it time for that G6 move just to take those squares from the knight, get an escape square for the king? No, A5 from Aryan. Wow. I mean, hey, to each their own, I would have definitely thrown in that G6 move, but hard to, to bother criticizing here. The game is certainly over, but this is just unnecessary compensation, in my opinion. Definitely could have kept that knight out. Okay, check, check, king f6, and we're gonna see, we have to see g6 next. The a pawn's gonna run, we got rook c3, rook c2, check. Uh, in fact, rook takes c2 is gonna be a better first move because it threatens rook to c3 mate. There's just not many moves here. Time is ticking down, he's down more than a minute as well. He's definitely shaking. He is definitely shaking. This looks like it's on pace to be 4 oh, that pawn is gonna disappear and okay just about anything will work now rook c2 looks like it's happening the knight just it is a uh, dire straits here as it looks like it's gonna be another one for mr tari guys it is now 4 oh. 4 oh right now and uh Oh, Elias is, it looks like he's, he's, yes, he's applying some lipstick before he gets fucked again. That's, that's nice to see. That's great. So, yeah, so Doc putting on the old, the old lip balm. Uh, Bishop D6. All right. All right. We're going to, we're going to see what happens in this exchange French. What happens in the exchange French? Are you going for the exchange French is a very interesting decision, actually. Um, C4 though, C6. Normally... Normally, uh, D takes uh, C4, Knight F6, Knight C6. That's that's one theoretical line. But uh, instead, he's actually gone for C6. And I don't know. Maybe this is uh, I don't know this line at all. Maybe this is normal. But uh, let me tell you guys, I don't know what's going on. I do not know what's going on. Tommy says this is normal. Okay, sorry. What what I forgot was that it's normal for you know guys like Tommy. Uh, uh, Elias here. It looks like this is maybe doctor theory. This is uh, doctorate theory. I think they, they teach it in the last MD class before graduation. Uh, Bishop G4, yep. This knight's gonna uh, come out to... I wonder if he's gonna castle um, kingside here. I have this strange feeling that Elias is secretly trying to go and castle queenside. I have this feeling he's trying to castle queenside here. F6. He's almost, he's almost trying to go uh, and play the exact same variation as as with knight c6, bishop d6, queen d7, castles queenside. I don't think it's as good now, but I have a feeling he's still thinking about doing that. Let's see what he decides to do. f6 and king f7, by the way, is not unreasonable. That uh, that looks fine. A lot of space here for Aryan. He's going to hit that knight, stop him from castling. Makes sense. This knight can uh, maybe bring itself to e6. Uh, again, if bishop g5, there's f6. To me, that's... That's potentially quite comfortable. Followed by knight f8, king f7. Okay, so I was thinking here, the bishop goes back. Now, personally, guys, I like Elias' position here. I actually think there's potential. The only thing that, that, yeah, no, queen there, this knight f8. So I'm thinking knight f8 here, king f7. Knight f8 to cover queen uh, e6. And then king f7. He's gone for it, guys. I, I actually like this. I think this could turn around for the dock. I think this is good. I, I I like what he's doing here. He might throw an a6. I'm not sure if he wants to, so he does. So so some space being gained by Aryan. He's definitely going to go for b5. No question about it. He's still up 30 seconds. He's still up 30 seconds. He's going to double the rooks. Is Elias going to bring that rook there and knight back to d8? It looks a little funky for now. Yeah, and remember, there's still that b5 bike. So definitely still better for 
Uh, definitely still better. And of course, this is a much stronger move than my knight d8 nonsense. Nice one by uh, by Elias there. B5 finally comes in. Some space for Aryan, but most importantly, guys, 40 seconds. It's that time advantage. It is all about that time advantage, in my opinion. This is definitely a position where Elias has, has good chances. Remember, he only needs a draw. Remember, guys, he only needs a draw. Let's not forget what kind of match we're, we're looking at here. This is an adoption match. This is an adoption match. Queen d8. Now, is he going to go for, for the exchange here? I, I wonder if there's anything to be said. Okay, he goes g4. 97, it looks forced. Unless, actually, you could take a 97. Yeah, that, that might be... That might be logical. Maybe g5 and knight to... Yep, g5 and knight g6. Guys, a really, really good position here. Oh, g5 needs to be played. A really good position here for uh, for Elias. But remember, it's all about time now. Knight c3 back to knight e2. Okay, yeah, knight d3 covering. This is okay. Oh, this is intense. This is very, very intense though. Remember, Aryan needs to win this game. He needs to win this game. This is uh, this is good though if he can get that. What happens here? Takes takes queen d3. Okay, now there's no trade. Queen e4. He's trying to force it. Knight e1. There is queen h1. King back. Is it queen e4 check again? Remember, guys, the draw ends this match right here, right now. Is he gonna go king d1? Definitely yes. Right. He's got to go king d1 here. He takes. Okay, I wasn't sure about this. The king plants itself pretty nicely on e6. And f5 happens. Hang on a sec. f5 is definitely good for black to get. But okay, not the end of the world. The knight sits on... on uh... Oh, he's saying... Oh, and Elias is practicing for Spider-Man 7. Which will be uh, filmed in Venezuela. The only place they can bring the camera crew these days. Uh, king d3. King d5. He wants that knight on c3. Knight e2, knight c3. This is what he wants, guys. If he gets that, that king will be in trouble. And I think he's overlooked it. No, this is definitely turning back in Aryan's favor. The Grandmaster Endgame technique is coming in to play, guys. e5 can be played here, but even just moving the knight is the safer choice. Bring that knight to f3. Looking for that g5 pawn. If there, you have uh, d5. Also have knight e5. He's pulling this one out, guys. Grandmaster Endgame technique. And Dr. Usadik, he can't believe it. He can't believe it. He had that game. That was a very, very close call. But Aryan, once again, he's looking expressionless. Expressionless. Did you see that sip of cold water? That it took? Yeah, that was a victory sip. That was a victory sip. Sips tea. Nobody can hear me, Chess Ninja. Of course not. Nobody can hear me. Thank goodness for them. Thank goodness for them. That was a very exciting. Game. That was a very exciting. Uh, uh, Elias. To find some key moves. Yeah, Elias. Man, he he really butchered that one because guys, we are officially halfway. We are halfway to ten. How are you feeling about the odds right now, guys? Because it's looking worse and worse, right? This is how the match goes. Momentum builds, but. At the end of the day, there's just that one mistake. Uh, you know, getting a little bit too low on time, making a one move blunder, it, anything like that, and suddenly the match flips on its head, and uh, you know, and Elias can can come up with victory. But but Tari is looking very solid, very comfortable right now. He hasn't made too many blunders, uh, but he's definitely had a hard time in some games creating uh, advantages. There have definitely been some situations where where Elias um, uh, where Elias is. Uh, well, I would say uh, very comfortable, especially in that last game. Especially in that last game. Knight takes b5. I'm not sure if that was really working. Not sure if that was really working. Knight g5. Okay, so if h6, I mean, he, he clearly wants to bring that knight to, uh, to e4, Elias does. He's, he's a lot more uh, even on the clock. And remember, this is a symmetrical position, so... Guys, if you're looking for, uh, I mean, if you're looking for a way for Elias to win, like this seems like the formula right here. You know what I mean? Get, uh, I mean, all he needs is a draw. Get a get a symmetrical position. 
And there's no shame playing for a draw when, when it's an adoption match. Everything's on the line. Oh, he could... Guys, this could be nine wins in a row, and then one draw, and suddenly Elias wins the match. So, this is not... Uh, this is not a match where, um, you know, we're, we're looking at the score of the match. It's it's all about whether or not National Master Goala here, Elias, can get half a point out of 10. So he has a lot of time to do that. Now, first of all, this, I mean, what, this is just bad for Arya. For, 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 I mean, there's just no way. I mean, um, the, the bishops are strong here. There's some weird bishop takes c8 move that, that had to be played. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Uh, what I'm looking at, though, is 40 seconds. Guys, 40 seconds. Dr. Usadik is consistently too low on time, in my opinion. He has to play faster. Bishop goes back to b7. Hitting that knight, this queen and bishop are lining up for, uh, yep, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, we know Elias to be a, a much faster player than this. Now, why why is he not uh, playing to his strengths here? Why is he not playing to his strengths? Now, if we see knight there, I'm wondering... I think this pawn is just loose. So the knight is tied to the pawn. And, you know, if you play something like f6, you start to get worried about h4, h5. Um, that move coming in. So queen c3. So he's setting up uh, long term, long diagonal pressure there. Rook c8. Now this knight's going to have to move now. Knight f6. So in those last couple moves, I think Aryan could be quite happy. Does he switch back to the d file now? That's the question. No, he decides to take. Queen there might force f3 or queen. Oh no, sorry, there is there is e4 after queen d5. Notice how these bishops uh, and pawn keep that queen out of the c file, so it's not very useful. So we probably see e4. Will he, will he blunder? e4, queen d1. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Wait a minute. Is this just a uh, game ending blood? Oh, Aryan's sipping the water. Guys, Aryan's sipping the water. Oh no, no. That's when they when it, Oh, the, the pinky's in the air. The pinky's in the air. Oh no, no. You don't. James Bond, 007, and Aryan Tar, you don't want to see what those guys can do with their little finger. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, the pinky's in the air, guys. I'm done. I'm done. Nope. That's it. Koala, it's a wash. This game's done. Queen d5, guys. That is just a double attack. Double threat there. Checkmate in one. No matter how you stop that, Queen d1 is going to pick up that bishop. He's down more than a minute on the clock. And let's remember those words from Elias at the beginning. At the beginning of the match, he said, this is going to be over in one game. Well, it's been a lot longer than one game. As a matter of fact, it has been six of them. Six wins for Grandmaster Aryantari. And he's disrespecting him too. He sees the French. He's playing the exchange French. He is playing the exchange French. And I can't believe he's repeating this line because remember guys, the last game that we saw, uh, th this is... This was not a good, in my opinion, this was not a good opening for Aryan. I don't know why he's so, so happy to repeat it. But hey, can't question it. It's working. You know, you can't, uh, can't knock it. So, queen b3. Now, the question is after bishop takes, is he going to take there? So, one thing that happened with that queen b3 is it got out of the pin. Generally speaking, if you put your bishop out there, and the whole point is to, to keep that pin, if if the knight ever jumps out of the way, it's usually a bad sign. What's going to happen next? Well, probably f4, g4, and that bishop may just get trapped. Bishop also coming out to f4. Uh, this actually already looks pretty bad. This looks pretty bad, guys, for uh, for lies. If I, if I have this right, so hang on. Can we take there and just bishop f4? Bishop f4, queen c8 has to play. Still playable here, guys. Still playable. Um, I thought he was going to go rookie one so that after castle there was some knight g6 trick. Not rookie one. Okay. He's finally done it. So there's some pressure on Elias' position. Definitely a comfortable one for Aryan here. Rookie one, guys. This is quite uncomfortable for, uh, for Elias. Quite uncomfortable for Elias. How does he get out of this? So, I was thinking knight there, knight there is uh, is one idea. Whoa! Rook to h4 from the lad here. National Master Gowala. So, 
I, I'm looking first that takes takes maybe bishop d6 type stuff, but there's simply knight. And, you know, he can block on the e file. It's not good enough. There's also an g 8 Probably too much. So he's just going to go like this. And if rook takes there, what does he have in store? Some knight sack, followed by maybe just queen e3. Something, something uh, on the bishop. He's just going to play it slow. Knight back to f3. If knight takes there, probably queen... Well, queen e3, let's say, is playable. Queen c3, also a double attack. There's also rook takes e7 there. And queen e3, lots and lots of moves, guys. Oh, Elias is definitely feeling it here. This is a visual representation of what a shot of Grey Goose does to the immune system. Have a good look. Knight to f3. That's that's hitting hard, guys. He's got a two-minute time deficit. Two-minute time deficit. And, I mean, yeah, every, everything is bad here. It doesn't matter what moves you play when you're down two minutes. I think that's the end of it. Abdul Salam says, hey, it's not the Grey Goose. He's just full of shit. <laughs> also a possibility. Queen takes e4, takes, takes. Bishop there. Okay, there's some checks. As you can see, guys, Elias was really overreacting to the position because, I mean, at the end of the day, he got out with uh, a pawn up and... Maybe you could say that's because Aryan saw he was up two minutes. He kind of stopped calculating or taking the, the calculations as serious. Um, Queen a3 is very strange. Rook f1, yeah, he's just going for the flag here. He he knows he's he knows he's probably the favorite here. And with 14 seconds, definitely a, a big underdog. Thanks for the raid there uh, from Nicholas. Rook e1 and hitting that bishop. Yeah, he should be should be comfortable here. Maybe king h2, I don't know, something. Something simple. If you take that, there's queen takes d8. And oh, a little trick there, a little do si do. But with five seconds, you cannot uh, expect anything. That that looked like it was Aryan's game from start to finish. From start to finish. Guys, that is now up to 7-0. Seven, oh. Seven games in a row for Aryan. Only three more games. How are we feeling, guys, about that action? People who bet on, on Aryan, are we are we feeling like he's just gonna bring it home? Is he just bringing it home right here? Is it, is it too much? Is it far gone? Or does Elias have one close game? Because there's been at least one or two very close games, if I can recall from this match. Let's see what Elias can do with the white pieces here. Remember, there's three more games, so Elias gets the white pieces twice. So he finishes with two whites. That is important. Bishop g4. And normally this bishop on uh, d3 is, uh, there you go, it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be on e2, where it can handle this pin a lot better. This is, the di this is what uh, 600 rating points chess.com blitz looks like. I mean, Elias is about $500 on himself. Elias bet what? About 500. Elias has about 500 worth of action on himself. on himself. So guys, I mean, 500, 500 on yourself, and and this is what you have to show for it. So remember, guys, that uh, someone who's betting on themselves, I mean, he's not sitting here waiting for other people to take action. He 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 does trust himself. He knows he can be a dangerous player, but we just haven't seen enough uh, from him in this one. We, we don't. I'm wondering, yeah, we, we might have like a bishop takes g7, funny little move. Um, come in, just a cute little doctor left jab. Yeah, Aryan's having a bit of a think here. Remember, that's a lot of the positions that, uh, uh, that the doc's been getting, uh, they haven't been bad, truly. They, they haven't been bad positions. It's, uh, it's all about how you play them. Um, this looks like a dangerous game. Elias right now, he's he's I mean he's gonna bring the bishop back, maybe queen d4. Uh Aryan's forced to go for some some kingside aggression. 
Because remember, he had that end game, which was definitely fine for him. But again, it's just that Grandmaster technique comes in. But he does play Bishop B2, so I, I, I like what I'm seeing here. Elias, I'm not sure what. I think he is ascending. Elias is ascending. Yes, that's what just happened. <laughs> Uh, rook takes, okay, now, if you go rook c2, maybe you fall into this knight, yeah, knight g3 is, uh, knight g3 is, is on tap here. Um, it's definitely a move. I'm not sure if it's the best move, because, okay, it does get the queens off the board, but a pawn is a pawn. He's probably gonna try queen f3. He knows that, uh, if you exchange, uh, if you exchange queens, it's definitely good for, uh, for white. Rook c8, rook back to c1. Are there any tricks here? Don't see anything just yet. Yep, so Aryan's gonna decline. Of course, Elias is gonna go back. Guys, this could be the all-important game. Queen f3 played. To decline, you have to go here. To decline a queen trade, because you also have to guard that pawn. Uh, the time advantage. Okay, he's got that queen trade, guys. Rook c2 coming. This is very, is he gonna go rook c1? He does go rook c1. Elias is trying to play this end game. But, oh, he could just be blundering. Or is he gonna go bishop d2, guys? This is the one you probably have to try. Oh. Elias has a Filipino blowout going on there. <laughs> He's gotta at least try it. He's gotta at least try it. Bishop d2, guys, it's been played. It's been played. Now, big calculations. Now, to me, it's not worth it. it. Yes, go back. Bishop e1. Bring that king out. Both play. Neither player wants to go into those. Okay, bishop c1 from Elias. This is definitely a funny looking move. I think Elias uh, was expecting him to maybe go back to c3 or something. Um, okay, but Elias has a really fine position here. f3, king up, bishop to d4. Uh, the only thing that's nice, of course, guys, is, is bishop against knight. You always have the opposite color of the bishop to play on here, and Aryan is looking to use those light squares. Um, this is not a winning endgame. This is not a win. Oh, don't play knight b8 and blunder that. Oof. I thought maybe he wanted his knight on c6. Now, is he gonna, okay. Is he gonna go there? No, okay, bishop g7. It's like a cat or a dog chasing his tail. You just can't attack any of these, you can't. Can't do anything. Elias needs to play faster, guys. The time is evening up. This is going to be maybe the closest game of the match. I'm calling it now, guys. This may be the closest. Thanks, R. Thomas, for the raid. 24 people. Welcome, guys. We're in a huge match right now. This is very intense. Seven games in a row. And now it has come down to a time scramble. He's up 10 seconds, guys. This could be it. I mean, if you if you want uh, if you want your best chance, you, you've got it right here. If you're uh, if you're cheering for uh, the doc. This is definitely your chance. Well, bishop b4. Bishop b4, guys, this is your chance right here. He takes it. This is all in. It's it's all it's all over right here. Elias is already celebrating. Is it preemptive? Is it preemptive? Elias has been known to prematurely celebrate before. Oh, he knows he has to. Does Aryan know he has to win? I think he does. King d3 played, but, oh, Aryan, is he gonna try anything? He has five seconds left. He is trying it. He is trying something. He's trying for the flag, but no, Elias has, oh, and a huge blunder, Elias. Oh no, oh, that's so bad. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that is literally insane. What the fuck did we just watch? And Aryan... Aryan looks like... I, I mean, the guy hasn't even left the photo shoot. He, he hasn't even fucking blinked. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
By the way, that's always available, this G5 F4 move. Not so true. It's very easy to fall for. <laughs> but Aryan made it faster than we've ever seen him made before. Yes, and he played ever. That was the best time scrambling I've ever seen from him. Guys, we are up to 8 0. And I don't even know how Elias is still here. There's, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how he's still in the building. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. For Elias to come back, guys, and refocus and win this match, after that is is seriously impressive. If that can happen, trust me, uh, he, he, he deserves it all. Because, oh my goodness. That was one of the most outrageous things I've ever seen. If anyone's been watching Aryan trying to grind for 3K, they know that, you know, he... You know, if there's one weakness, it's the guy's speed at the end. But that was clutch. There's just no other word for it. Totally clutch. Every pre-move was was beautiful. He brought the king in. He let him queen. Oh, it was just it was just perfect. That was just as you that was an end game played as well as you could have. Very tricky stuff from Aryan. And I mean, there's a lot of people out there with some action, some side action on this Tari against Usidic match. And boy, were they on the edge of their seats. And your boy Aryan just brought it back for a lot of people. So can he win the next two games and make it all worth it? Holy cow. Okay, well, this game, we got a French again from Elias. I have not been impressed with, uh, with his... Um, I haven't been impressed with his positions in this opening thus far. Um, we'll get to Aryan's uh, POV, guys, for the last game. Um, you know, if, if, uh, cause if Elias wins this, then, or, or draws it, then we're going to be on his POV right now. And then for the last game, if it's 9-0, we'll go to, to Aryan's POV for the finale. Oof. Okay. So that knight wants to get into, to D4. That, that's, that truly is one of the, uh, one of the most hype moments I've ever seen on stream. That is crazy. I'm still, I'm still barely getting over that guys. Queen e3, uh, better bishop, better structure for um, for Aryan here. I think he's going to be... Well, he wants to put the knight there, but I mean... Okay, yeah, sure. Knight e6. Maybe he just trades everything. Oh, and uh, looks like during this time of quarantine, Elias is practicing his uh, groping for his blow-up doll. Uh, it's nice to see his technique there. Two hands forward. Uh, Bishop h3. This looks pretty rough. This looks pretty rough. Uh, after Bishop h3, the, the reason it, that you can't do... Well, actually, you can do this. Sorry, I, I, uh, I thought for a second there was a tactic there, but not quite. It's still just a, just a very bad position to be in, of course, for, for Elias, but it's not lost. Is there a rook takes f7? No. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where the tactics are. Queen f2 is just a great move though, adding adding to the pressure here. Um, is he just gonna go queen back to d7? I don't think there's anything. Ooh, no, there has to be tactics now. You just take. Yeah, there, there, there's tactics now. There's tactics now. Guys, it is 9-0, oh, and and are you are you is I mean I have a feeling that he's almost looking at Elias' webcam, like. Like, he's some type of lab experiment. Like, he doesn't know, like, wh how could the guy possibly not win that last game? It's like, uh, like so confused. He's like, huh? Is this all you got, bro? You said it was going to be done in one game. And now, we're going to take a look at Aryan's perspective, guys. This is what it's all come down to. It is 9-0 for Aryan. It's down to one blitz game. One blitz game. That's it. And uh, let's see, Elias, to his credit, he has been better with the white pieces, I think. So he's had a few games that that it definitely looked like he should have won. Of course, that one from a couple games ago. He also had one earlier. So if he's gonna do it, guys, it's these symmetrical positions he's getting from D4, D5. I think he has to be satisfied with these and he has to keep up that speed. 
he has to keep that speed. But remember, we can all say that that last game was the craziest thing we saw, that how could you do that, Elias, blah, blah, blah. But if Elias pulls out a draw here, or a win, of course, then it's all over and Elias is the winner. That's how these adaption ma matches work. So don't count him out just yet, guys. The, this game uh, is, is simply, uh, you know, next point wins, essentially. Knight b3. Okay, hitting the bishop, you definitely cannot allow that to be taken. Uh, bishop takes b5, definitely tempting here, but because there's that bishop h2 move, it's not quite a tactic. So, um, bishop takes b5. Yeah, bishop takes b5, there is bishop h2. I thought maybe he would try king h1 to really renew that threat. Um, probably we're gonna see bishop f4, yep. And just throwing that check in to put the king further away in the case that we get to an endgame. Uh, you know, pieces trade off down the d, the d file. Okay, up 30 seconds here. It's all come down to this, guys. There's a lot of action on this game right here. It used to be, you know, betting on the match. You know, we were putting up prize fund for these guys. But now it's all come down to one match. It's come down to one match. It's this game. Let's see what, what uh, Elias can do here. He's got to play a lot better, a lot faster. That bishop goes back. I imagine he's going to be looking at moves like knight c4. Uh, maybe he'll just find time for, for it. Even g5. Isn't okay, g5 is maybe... No, g5 is not completely crazy here. Um, but sure, it feels feels a little funny trapping the queen out there. It's a pretty weakening move, but I'm trying to play in the dark square. Uh, he has some easy moves to make, though. He doesn't have to do anything so crazy. Queen h4. King g1 he's going to try. Um, not sure if there's any... Maybe h6. He just needs to, to get a few moves in. He's slowing down a little bit. So Elias has somehow, somehow gained time on the clock. h6. So he does finally just find time for that. Knight goes to d4. He'd be looking maybe to play knight f3 and just get some trades in. You know, it's not the best position for him, but it's very solid. It's very solid. Elias is just trying to stay solid here. Knight f4, you can take it because that queen is covered. Um, otherwise, if you if you take it, he goes back. Takes, takes. Okay, that knight looked a little loose there, but seems like it's okay. Intermezzo, knight f4 by uh, by Arnie. Could have taken that back, but he's going to go here. He doesn't want to allow g3 and f4. Queen f3, queen takes e5. Now g3, the h3 pawn is hanging. Keep that in mind. Rook d8, this is definitely slightly better for Aryan. He's up 20 seconds as well. But again, all we need is a draw if you're cheering for uh, National Master Gowala here. All you need is a draw. And the pressure's on. Now, who knows? Aryan, he's been cool, calm, and collected the entire match. He's been cool, calm, and collected, but is he going to feel the pressure in his final game when it matters? We do have a threat here. We do have a threat. Knight g6. Now, he's offering that pawn. Okay, queen e3 played. This is a nice, solid move from, uh, mm -hmm. from Elias here. Covers a lot of important squares. To be honest, this this can probably be taken. I mean, there, there's, there's, uh, oh man, knight comes e5. Okay, guys, this is going to be very exciting. Rook b6, that is a very suspicious looking move. He's walking directly into knight c4. And if f4 happens, you are self-pinning bishop a2, covering the threat. Very important, bishop d7. He's renewing that. Now, rook there. Now, I think he's got to take that, but that is a strong knight on e5, guys. Lots and lots of conversation. He doesn't take it. Unbelievable. I would have taken that, but listen, Aryan got himself here. He's going to get himself out of here, it looks like. You got to be I very careful. Doing great here, What's that? White's doing great. Yeah, no, he really turned that around. I would have taken that queen personally and, and kept that strong knight on e5. But, oh, b4. Okay, I like the counterplay. I like the counterplay. Elias is trying to set things up here. If e5, knight f5, guys, this is actually really, really close. I have to say, e5 played. That might be a good move. Maybe he can set up some stuff on h6. Remember, a perpetual is enough. e5 hanging here. Is he gonna go f6? That's the question. 50 seconds against 30. He has a time advantage, but Elias is up upon here, and he has some attacking ideas, guys. This is a very dangerous position. There's a lot of money on the line. Bishop a2 played, so that pawn was defended. Bishop a2, is he gonna go here? No, he's going for a very safe move. I think I like that move. That move does feel extremely safe. Queen d3 back. Now the knight has relocated. He's just going to take it. He doesn't think twice. He doesn't think twice. That pawn is hit. It's got to be king h7. Now he's looking for a draw, but I really like what Elias did there. I think that's a very decent blitz, uh, blitz sacrifice. He wants to get the knight there, but it's just not happening. The rook goes to g8, so we know that he's not going to be perpetual checked right now. 
That is important. G3 has to be played. Bishop G4. Is he going to go for that pawn? Yes, he does. Goes for that pawn. Guys, 8 seconds. Under 10 seconds for Uzidic. He doesn't have enough time. Pawn takes, of course. No. He lets the knight come in. That looks crazy. But queen c4. There's going to be rook h1. Queen trade. You can't lose if there's a queen trade. 24 seconds to 3 seconds. Elias is going to go down. Guys, this is going to be 10-0 from Ariantari. Elias looks like he's finally pre-moving. But, buddy, you got to find that way, way sooner. Rook g1. And he finishes in style. Grandmaster move. Rook g1. And that is 10-0. Grandmaster Ariantari with the adoption. The pinky's in the air. He's sipping that water. It wasn't water. It was vodka the kappa. There we go. The celebration. The Persian contingent. <laughs> really impressive. Elias, uh what what are your first uh what are your first thoughts after that match, Elias? Any any games stand out to you as as big big misses? I can't believe I lost that game. That was uh, that was maybe the single greatest comeback that we've we've seen. Uh, Aryan, if you can hear me, your mic is your mic is still muted. If you want to unmute oh yourself. Oh my goodness! You hear oh me? My. Yeah, I can hear you now, Aryan. Aryan, take take, buddy. You got to tell us what about that game where you checkmated from pre moves? You were down a protected oh pass pawn in a king and pawn end game. How the hell did you win that? Of course, I, I knew. Uh, I, th I thought that was going to be the match and that's going to be over. But I knew this last chance with f4, e5, f4 to sacrifice that he might fall. I mean, I, I thought I would never. Like, I have 0.1% 0, 0. chance to win that game. But I knew that I have this trick with e5, f4. If he gets careless and makes primos, that h point can. can oh, be. and, and, and oh, it's nice. a really. it's. Uh, I've I never seen Aryan play that fast. That, that was. Time, so I thought I would flag, but. Yeah, I thought you would flag too. Like, I, and you mated me. I think the problem the problem was that you were playing king d3, king d4 back all the time. Just play king e5 and take my d5 pawn. I mean, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. you also had 10 seconds more. So, I mean. Of course, if I don't repeat, I'm totally lost. And I tried like king c6, king e6, but you should just go king c5 or king e5. But Aryan, you kept the match going. I mean, I, I think a lot of us were, were thinking that it was almost three times repetition. It was very close. Well, uh, I was going to offer a draw. I was going to offer a draw. And I was like, <laughs> no, nah, like... No, three I'm times not... repetition automatically gets claimed. So if it was three, it would have claimed. So it was, it was not three. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I told you it was only two. I was trying to avoid the three times, but... Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think it was a draw. You're right. And uh, and Elias, I think a lot of people are uh, wondering. It actually was a ten game match. Uh, you seem to think it would be one game. Uh, only needed one game. What, what are That's your thoughts very there? Very good question, Amon. I, I had my chances. I had my chances. I'm gonna give myself that. You know, I, I played some good games. You know, I had some some draws games, but he's a good player. You know, time was to his advantage in some games, but uh, we'll stick with that for now. Looks like uh, Elias uh, has got some good memory there. His his, his publicist has uh, told him exactly what to say. No, it was it was fun. I had a good time. I hope the crowd had a good time. But uh, oh, I still can't forget that one game. I was the, I, 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 I was move queen checkmate one. Celebrating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I think that the thing was Arian. I don't know if you saw, but Elias on his camera and we all saw it. He he already was fist pumping when yeah, fist when, when like, he traded bishop for knight he was already fist pumping like the game was over uh yeah yeah actually i could hear elias during the match so i heard <laughs> <laughs> you could hear elias breathing <laughs> yeah. oh man i was jumping out of my pants it, but <laughs> yeah I, I of course i understood he was happy there <laughs> Yeah, no, but well played, well played. Aryan, were you nervous, buddy? People, people weren't sure if you were nervous or just extremely confident. I mean, I, I to be honest, I wasn't so nervous because because that game, I think I was up seven zero or something. That game, I made it in the end, and I thought like, okay, if it's a joy, if it's if it's a joy, I mean, what can I do? I mean, you cannot expect to beat Elias. 10-0, like it's not, it, my, my chances are of course not 100%, so it, it's definitely very, very hard. Well guys, that, yeah. that is the official match. It finished 10-0 for, for Aryan. Um, like like you, you both said, I think it was a lot of fun. That was just impromptu, you know what I mean? It's just natural, raw, chest brought energy. A couple guys in the chat getting involved. All of a sudden we have a match in front of ourselves. So I just wanted to say thanks to uh, to both of you for, for a great match and, uh, you know, win or lose, I hope Hope you boys uh, had some fun there, you know, some friendly rivalry. I'd love to do more. Yeah. Yeah. All good, all good, all good.
Sure, Elias but, looks like a guy who's going to be looking, uh, you know, for another match. It, he looks like an aggressive, like a Nate Diaz. You know, he might take like an L, but he's looking to book a new fight league, soon. No. Yes, rematch too. I think that was part of the clause, right? I get a, I get a rematch maybe in the future. <laughs> yes, Anyways, we'll bottom talking. of the contract. Yes. Anyways, cheers, guys. Thanks All right, boys. Have a good night. Take care. Thanks for the match. See you. See ya.